Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on femoral hernia. For its epidemiology, femoral hernia is uncommon, only consist of 2-4% of all groin hernia. 70% occur in women, as pelvis is wider and the canal is therefore larger. 25% of femoral hernia gets complicated by incarceration or strangulation. They are rarely put up for exams as it is operated quickly. For anatomy of the femoral sheath, the femoral sheath, anterior wall arises from transversalis fascia, and posterior wall from fascia covering the iliacus. Femoral sheath contains femoral vessels and lymphatics below the inguinal ligament, and ends 4 cm inferior to inguinal ligament. Medial compartment is the femoral canal which carries lymphatics, lymph node of cloquet, and adipose tissue. Intermediate compartment is the femoral vein, whereas lateral compartment is the femoral artery. For the femoral canal, the superior opening of the femoral canal is known as the femoral ring. Femoral canal is the dead space for extension of the distended femoral vein, and also lymphatic pathway from lower limb to external iliac nodes. Let's look at the boundaries of the femoral ring. Anterior is the inguinal ligament. Posterior is the pectineal ligament, also called Cooper's ligament, which runs along pectineal line of the superior pubic ramus. Medial is the lacunar ligament, whereas lateral is the femoral vein. Femoral hernia size is limited, as compared to inguinal hernia, as the hernia cannot extend anteriorly, posteriorly or medially. It can only expand laterally compressing on femoral vein. Boundaries of the femoral triangle. Superior is inguinal ligament. Medial is the medial border of adductor longus. Lateral is the medial border of sartorius. Floor consists of iliacus, PSO's tendon, pectineus, and adductor longus. And its roof is the superficial fascia. For clinical presentation, femoral hernia presents as a marble-shaped lump in the upper thigh, just below the inguinal ligament, and medial to femoral artery. It is at risk for being irreducible, and with its narrow neck, hence risk of strangulation is high. It usually does not have a cough impulse. And, incarcerated femoral hernia presents as a firm tender mass. This is a table showing inguinal versus femoral hernia. Inguinal hernia is superior and medial to pubic tubercle, whereas femoral hernia is inferior and lateral to it. Usually no cough impulse present in femoral hernia, and there is a higher risk of strangulation in femoral hernia. These are the differential diagnosis for groin lumps. It may be skin and soft tissue like lipoma, sebaceous cyst, and sarcoma. Vascular mass like saphena varix or femoral aneurysm. Neuroma of femoral nerve. Enlarged lymph nodes. Other hernia like inguinal or obturator hernia. And other causes like abscess or hematoma. In the acute setting with worry of obstructed or strangulated small bowel, imaging of choice will be a contrasted CT abdomen pelvis. Femoral hernia repair can be approached via laparoscopic or open repair. The laparoscopic approach for femoral hernia is similar to that for inguinal hernia, such as TAP approach. For open repair, classically three approaches are considered. Infranguinal approach, used for elective femoral hernia. Transinguinal approach lothesin, can repair both inguinal and femoral hernia. Supra-inguinal approach or McEvity, used when suspecting strangulated hernia. Or modified McEvity, with a transverse incision two-finger breadth above the inguinal ligament. Mesh repair is usually preferred unless contraindication exists, such as ischemic bowel with perforation. That's all for this video. Thank you.